and now to the Connecticut man who danced himself around the world and is now dancing around the internet. I've seen this before. I didn't know he made a profession out of oh, it. Oh, yeah, he's big time. Yeah. Matt Harding has taken his flash mob style dance routine to more than 150 countries, including Hong Kong, where ABC News on campus reporter Richard Schuster caught up with him. Wherever this backpacker goes, he's greeted with a cheer. What do you think? Does this work? Matt Harding was working as a video game designer. Okay, I got everybody in the shot. Eight years ago, he decided to quit. Three, two, one, go! Ever since, he has been dancing badly around the world and in the process, becoming a global internet sensation. This happy guy dancing badly around the world, I love it. Saw the video. Really? Is, is this what people do with their time? <laughs> <laughs> this is how it started. A dance just for fun, for friends and family. But videos of his jig went viral, with now over 60 million hits on YouTube. This was not my plotted career at all. No, <laughs> I used to make video games for a living, uh, sat in front of a computer all day, and that was my life. <laughs> on this latest trip across the world, Matt is on the lookout for some new moves. This time, it's Hong Kong's turn. And even on this foggy afternoon, hundreds of fans gathered along the iconic waterfront for a chance to dance with Matt. For one good reason, written on their faces. It's just the, uh, the adrenaline rush and the energy. One, two, three, shirt. This is work for Matt. The dance brought him sponsors and appearances in TV commercials. be over um, and I may have to settle down and, and kind of <laughs> figure out what I'm going to do from now on, but I'm just having a really good time doing this now. Last dance, two, one, dance! After more than 150 places and dances, now with a partner, a house and a dog waiting for him home in Seattle, this might be the last trip before Matt hangs up his dancing shoes. This is Richard Schuster for ABC News on Campus, Hong Kong. I love it. Wow. I, I like that he didn't want to spend the rest of his life at this job he didn't like. He was working in video game industry, and he just said, this is enough, and had such a great time on vacation. He turned it into a lifestyle. He did. And I, that'd be something I would normally make fun of, but after the news we've covered for the past three Seriously. weeks, if that brings you a little joy and some smiles and some happiness, you know what? Dance on, folks. Go Dance on. It. Mumbai to Hong Kong. <laughs> Dig it. Morning Papers coming up next. Stay with us.